after a day and a half ago, and he, he still throws hard. Uh, yeah, I was going to take him out in the bush, you know, and pick him off. Uh, either around a couple of Merton sets. But I uh, won't be able to do that today, so I'm going to take the wings and legs off, or I'm going to hang up over the stove, because you got, you got to be tired for tomorrow. i got to get this one picked off tomorrow, because Sunday, uh, uh, well, actually, no. We're going to McCovey for the holidays, and so Sunday we're going to have like a, obviously a Christmas dinner and invite some people over and have a little feast, you know, before before we go. But in order to enjoy his goose Sunday, he's going to have the tie. <laughs> Open up the feathers so the heat can get in true. Lots of times, you know, like I mentioned, lots of times with Pepper's wings or anything, you know, it's not sometimes it's not like it's a bit of meat there, but like it's not a whole lot of meat. But you got these little bits of fat and everything else. And when you cook this along with your goose, Pepper's, or whatever the wings line with it, it really uh, adds flavor to the gravy, you know. <laughs> yeah, my grandmother, especially with her other duck foot, you know, she'd be always howling at no tendon like that, getting in the move. We'd be kind of awestruck for the little kids. <laughs> well, I must say, there's a, a lot of rabbit sign here. On into the woods here everywhere. Must be a brood here. So so I'm going to take advantage of it and uh, tail uh, at least four snares here. Just look. Deep right down. The rabbits are running around here in a nice bit. So, so I want the rabbit to go through there. So I'm just going to... Block it off here a little bit. Some branches like that. There you go. Yeah, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put another set like this up right here and do the same thing block it off on either side with the branches and then the only two openings align this general area will be where i got my snares they'll funnel them uh, into my snares hopefully that's one set and here's the other one right here He's tied now. Oh yeah, he's tied good there now. So we got the goose and uh, I got three rabbits there to clean up as well. And we got some snow coming, so uh, I'm gonna leave early in the morning and uh, check my rabbit snares and shrink them up. And uh, that'll be it for the rabbits now for a little while because next week, early next week, I'm hoping to get to Williams Harbor for some seal and oiter duck hunting. Uh, tomorrow for dinner and the only way that's going to happen I'm going to have to get the feathers off of this goose now <laughs> and uh, I got a clean bag here in the garbage can I'm going to save all the feathers and that for my traps now I'm just going to do some of the easy places here first on the back now I was going to do this with doors and everything else but you know I got kind of busy and stuff so well the doors see these little feathers you know, blow around or whatever with odds. Anyway, if it makes a mess in the shed, I'll just have to deal with it, I guess. And these gloves are really good, you know, for picking birds. It's like a little bit sticky, I like, for nipping the feathers. Yeah, I'm gonna get out of this goose here now, one feather at a time. Feed we're gonna have tomorrow. 
And we got some company coming. And the key. The battery's low, so I'm just going to sign in for now. rabbit here yesterday and I got another one here today. When he ties I'm going to uh, clean uh, that one and wash it off with the rest of the rabbit and they'll be going into battles uh, later on this evening. Uh, I got snares to go up there now count for 20 centimeters of snow so uh, I won't get any more snares out now not likely till after the holidays. <laughs> Swag. <laughs> Swag don't like the snow uh, as much as honey. Well, just look at that. Now this goose, he's gonna go in the roaster now uh, in a few hours time. And we're going to have uh, rabbit in another roaster and caribou in another. And I got to run. The phone is ringing. So I guess that's going to be it for this one, guys.